Hello and welcome to everyone watching on YouTube. My name is Shurjo and in this video I shall be talking about the Boss GP10 uh, guitar processor slash synthesizer uh, from Boss and um, I have a selfish reason for doing this particular video is the reason is since it is a guitar synth and I have been using a GR55 for my live work for the past six seven years consistently that's what I use that's essentially my live rig so I have a fair amount of experience as far as what guitar synths at least that particular guitar synth feels like the tones the functionality and I want to see uh, how the Boss GP10 stacks up against it first tone wise and second functionality wise so in this particular video I'm just going to go through the tones because uh, when I want to get new gear or something I really want to hear what it sounds like and what the range is and what the company thinks its range is so you know what the company puts in the presets that they're thinking they know that's going to cover the entire gamut of what they have to offer that's what I want to check out so this is the Boss GP10 I keep in mind the signal chain strat but going through the GK3 pickup all right as you can see quadrant jack not in there so I just want to check what the synth part of it sounds like there are guitar patches all only guitar patches but I'm not getting into that because there are enough uh, good guitar processors just you know guitar effects processors out there this is something different this, some, this has something else to offer and that's what I'm interested in so so we're gonna get right into it we're gonna get right into the play uh, I'm just go like I said uh, going through the patches one by one and connected just through the GK3 pickup into the Boss GP10 into the interface. That's the signal chain, that's what we're working with. Here we go. As you can see that there are four controls like literally there's one here and one here so it's two per pedal normally in the GR55 and since I'm doing almost like a comparison in my head GR55 just has one it's nice to have two that means that without adding an extra foot switch you already have more capability in theory to change things because that's what these things are for these things are meant to have a lot of moving parts in there so uh, this is the first thing they have two controls in there you can see CTL 1 CTL 2 and then they have the patch up and down if you press both of them together we've got a tuner so going on to the next one it says drop D keep in mind that's D right there it's not open tuning and I didn't change the tuning so this has the same uh, capability as the GR55 that control one is essentially switching the tuning from of, of the sixth string from E to D so Very cool. Uh, this patch was there in the GR55 as well, and I just want to say straight off the bat, playing three patches. Uh, the tones are much better here. The playing is much better here. The latency is much lesser here. I mean. I know that I had one of the earlier models of the GR55 but I think Roland has been making since, since donkey's years so it should have been more concise there should have been letter, lesser latency uh, this uh, does not by the way if you re, 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 shut your volume to zero it keeps, keeps saying connect the GK so you know keep your volume up and 
that doesn't happen. Uh, it uh, has a better tone, the latency is lesser, it feels more spontaneous. Uh, it feels like when you play it, the sound comes out. I like that. That's, that's ideal. Very, very cool. And who's to get out to our string? This is really, really nice. but I could do it. As you can see me struggling because I'm sitting, but worth the struggle. similar patches to this again uh, I think the amp modeling in this is a lot better than in the GR55 it just is it's just a lot better there's there really there's no comparison it's just seen all these synth patches it's right there I can't believe it I mean I've been playing the GF for so many years <laughs> D model so that's obviously D A D G D the way this is set up this makes it look like they actually care you know like the previous like in the GR55 you would have your DAD GAD but then there's no way to switch back to standard in the preset you'd have to set all that yourself these guys have clearly thought they've evolved you know I like it A 
sitar how very Sounds are creative, you know. I mean, the, I have always felt that pedals like this, the guitar synths, are meant to be songwriting tools because they will just give you a completely different look. You're playing a guitar, but that sort of sound comes out. That's amazing. Amazing. Classical musicians out there, that's me butchering what a symphony sound is supposed to be like. So sorry. That's a pretty nifty bass sound. That's a pretty nifty bass sound. I mean. I like it. Do you really need a bass player? Yes, you do. There's a guitar making these noises. That's the whole trip of it. a little bit you know when I'm switching through because these are synth patches but it's a lot better than the previous versions of what I've expected. <laughs> oh and this is another thing there's no gap when you change patches in the GR55 there's a quarter second gap uh, there's a delay before the next patch kicks in nothing as you can hear nothing like that happening. <laughs> string with a capo on the 7th fret so you can just start playing Holy California right away. something because again it's like a songwriting tool sound because then it, it enables you to think in a way that would just not be regular like what a guitar player is expected to play like so I think that's really great that's a good 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 movement you know <laughs> Thank you. 
So, you, you know, like with an auto wad, the harder you hit and the softer you hit, they get different responses. So. That's pretty cool. It's very cool. I got a Gibson ES335 as well. I don't. I got it here. I'm nice with six. Nice. I'm gonna buy me bar for your foot. Like that. See the difference? They were was in the hyper war. That might be the craziest frequency sweep. Orange crunch for the orange amplifier. <laughs> Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, open E. An open E pad, that's pretty cool. Although I messed the melody up, you can get an idea for what I was going for. Acoustic delay anchor. That really sounds like the like, country song sort of distortion. I like that. So, A, 
I really love the sound. And again, this is not something that I was getting in the GR55. The amp just didn't have this maturity of tone. It always was a little cranky. The sounds were always a little cranky, like it was too much high mid, too much presence. It's not authentic enough. <laughs> Here it says control is minus two, so I'm guessing. Ah, something after my own style. So, I have. Absolutely love it. Love it, just love it. Love it. Amazing possibilities. This help you play different. Top is always difficult with an octave on it. It's cool stuff. standard tuning. Great. The laser beam. Love it.
I just can't believe that all these sounds might be coming out of her. This patch is there in the GR55. And it didn't sound anywhere as good. Did I just hit the mic really hard? I just can't believe how responsive it is because normally with the GR55 I try to play anything like that it will just go all over the place. It wouldn't, it just wouldn't. And the fact is that I haven't tweaked anything, this is just straight out of the box. To even get to where my GR55 was I had to tweak it, tweak it, tweak it, tweak it, it took months. It took years really. <laughs> I like that progression. But if I were to remove that, that's all more deep purple to me. Nice switch. GB45, give them a two Capo, nice. Love it. 
What do you want to say? Love it. see it's written G T as in those are guitar patches meant when you connect your quarter inch in here and you get those sounds but like I said this video wasn't about that this video was just about the tones that you get from the GP10 presets what the company thinks that it has to offer and I think on the basis of this the company has a lot to offer the product has a lot to offer it is tone wise in my opinion miles ahead of my GR55 miles ahead now I have had access to some newer GR55 as well and the sound engine has improved but for some reason I don't know this just seems way this just seems way readier this just seems more ready to come out and play than the GR55 does and um, I appreciate that I will be doing other videos where I will check the functionality of this where it can do the things that I like in the GR55 if it can do those things as well I'm obviously going for a switch and I'm getting the GP10 because um, I'm really liking the tones and if it has the functionality as well it's great uh, I hope this video helps you for those who are looking to buy and want to know what the sounds are what the feel is like I have done nothing no changes straight out of the box this is what it sounds like that's the feel of the whole thing it's absolutely great there's no latency to speak of really uh, so I hope this video helps you and until next time take care